Before beginning our prayer, I want to mention that if anyone has any prayer concerns, you can email them to the church or call the church office. Additionally, we as a church family would like to do a prayer basket. We have done these prayer baskets over the last few years. Um, the situation that we are going to have a prayer basket for is for Phyllis. Um, the prayer basket works in this way. Phyllis will be given a basket that has gifts that she can open for two weeks to try to lift her spirits up as she goes through intense chemotherapy treatment. And so we as a church family have a prayer sheet that we pray for. If you would like one of those prayer sheets, please email me or the church office and we will make sure we get that to you. Or you can stop by and pick up one as they are in the narthex on the table near the upper rooms. Let us pray. Almighty God, we come with a mixture of praise and thanksgiving, joys and concerns. It is often that we come that way to you. You know us so well. You know the thoughts that are in our hearts, the concerns for people, and we are grateful that you listen to such thoughts. In this day, in the world we are living, we thank you for the service persons who are working so hard to keep food on our tables, the lights on, the heat, the water going, all those utility workers, we are thankful for them. We thank you for the people who keep our cars running, our communities safe. There are so many people who work behind the scenes to allow our lives to be a blessed life, and we give you thanks and praise. And we are mindful, O oh God, that there are increasing number of persons who have lost their jobs due to the effects of this coronavirus. We ask that you would guide us to figure out ways that we can help these individuals and people to support them in their times of need. And as our thoughts hear our politicians and others to the prospect of opening up our economy once again, we ask you to grant us the patience to persevere our current situation, that we won't rush into something that is not right. At the same time, we ask you to help us to plan ahead for how we might change our living habits to safely navigate whatever the new normal is going to be for our world in this time. And Lord, we recognize that the coronavirus has been quite difficult. And we, are, we know that there are people who are currently suffering from the effects of the coronavirus. We pray that they might be healed swiftly and completely. And we ask you to be with the workers in the hospitals and other places as they provide the care. And we ask for your peace and comfort to be given to the families and friends of those who have died from this problem. Beyond the issues of COVID-19, O oh God, we know that regular life continues and that there are people who need healed from regular medical concerns. We know that there are people who are needing comfort from the grief and loss that still happens in our world from people dying of other causes that are natural causes, that are the routine ways of life. We ask you to be with those individuals, as well as others who are dealing with the depression that can sneak into our lives when we are stuck at home too often. And finally, O oh God, I ask you to help us to find ways that we can not just be down about life, but we can find joy and ways to express joy and thanks to the people who share our life with us. Our whole world needs such joy and good experiences and positive notations. Help us to be positive people for you. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.